मूलाधार एक निलया ब्रह्म ग्रंथि विभेदिनी मणिपुरांतरुदिता विष्णु ग्रंथि विभेदिनी आग्न्या चक्रा तरालस्था रुद्र ग्रंथि विभेदिनी These are the lines from Lalita Sahasranama, the thousand names of the Divine Mother Goddess. Why are we speaking of the Divine Goddess here? Because now we come to the ninth nakshatra of Ashlesha, which is ruled by the Nagas, which all stands for Kundalini. What do these lines mean? She who resides in the Muladhar Chakra in the form of four petal lotus. She who breaks the knot of Brahma helps us to cross the ties of our birth. She who exists in Manipura Ka Chakra. She who breaks the ties of Vishnu who helps us cross the Maya. She who lives between the two eyelids in the form of Agnya Chakra. She who breaks the ties of Rudra helps us to cross the ties of attachments of any kind. Beautiful Lalita Sahasranama. So now we come to Ashlesha Nakshatra which falls between 16 degrees 40 minutes of Cancer and goes up till the end of Cancer, 30 degrees of Cancer. So we are finishing up the Cancer sign and we are also finishing up the first nine of the 27 Nakshatras. This is the end of a cycle so to speak. We shall examine this in detail later. But let's see what Ashlesha brings us. It goes, it's nature. First of all, we are talking about the energies of the nakshatra and the life themes in this series, yes? So nature is sharp. Ashlesha, if your personal planets are in Ashlesha, you can be sharp-tongued, you know, can speak very harsh. Or if you are um, Jupiter and other things, the planets are present, your intelligence, your understanding can be very discerning in nature, sharp discernment. It can mean any number of things. Sharp does not necessarily mean bad. Okay, I want you to get that. So the energies of this nakshatra are protection and defense. They can be hurt easily. They are very sensitive inside, although they appear harsh outside. They are highly intuitive and highly clingy. We need to feel connected to each other especially in Pada 4 with Pisces. Why? Because this uh, this nakshatra is ruled by the Nagas, the snakes, the deity of the snakes. The deity is important to understand in every nakshatra. So, snakes symbolically are attached to the ground. They are always embracing the ground. They are very sensitive to ground energies as a result, these nakshatra people. If your dominant number of points and planets are present in Ashlesha, you will be very ground sensitive, energy of the ground, energy of the earth. They could be action oriented, especially in Pada 2, because it's an Artha Pada going into Capricorn and Navamsha. Their life themes could be more about transformation, shedding of old skin like snakes, like nagas and moving through life. They could be introverted, very quiet natured people. They could be irritable easily. They are very vulnerable. They have a big need for privacy. On the downside, they could be deceptive and suspicious, especially in Pada 3 with the Kama Pada, which goes into Aquarius and Navamsha from Cancer. Aquarius people can be secretive, deceptive. <coughs> So what's the life lesson for this beautiful nakshatra? Life lesson is to live seductively without being seduced. Embrace with dance, yet be ready to change at any time. So this is a very dynamic nakshatra as you can see. It has an energy of sensitivity to the ground. It has the energy of transformation through life. And you have to live in your own seductive energy. This is the life lesson of Ashlesha. The mantra is Lalita Sahasranama, the beautiful thousand names of the Mother Goddess. Why? Because this is the best thousand names where you can find um, all about Kundalini. If you want to understand Kundalini, just recite Lalita Sahasranama. The ages that this nakshatra is active is four. 14, 17, 27, 30, 40, 33, 41, and 65. Next, we will talk about 
and which one is that magha nakshatra which we begin leo in the next one take care